again. As a matter of fact, I have merely been out with a few of the fellows. We were talking business. Yes, I can imagine what sort of business. Yes. I can smell you from here. I suppose you didn't remember today was our wedding anniversary. Wait. Why do you think I went out and got drunk? <laughs> I forget it, wasn't I? Yes, uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, stop rabbiting. Give us my pyjamas. You can have them. You're not sleeping with me, you drunken <laughs> bat. <laughs> She's murdering him, I hope. <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, don't you, don't you worry, mate. I shan't be sleeping with you. I'm having these for a start. And I'll have the pillar, and I'll have the pit. Will you two be quiet? Do you know what time it is? <laughs> you stupid baby, you didn't know what you've done. Sam, you're right. Will you two be quiet? <laughs> oh, thank you to mind your own business. You've got to get out of here. And you can get out and all you're not sleeping with me. Uh, don't worry. Don't you worry. I shall be coming back here and I'll be God! Be childish, will you, Arthur? Get back in and get some sleep, will you? Every night I have this, I haven't had a week of sleep. Well, don't tell me, mate. Tell that precious sister of yours. Look, be reasonable. Oh, now. and you get out and all. <laughs> What's going on? Are Arthur and Olive having another row? No, it's not another one. It's yesterday's carried on. <laughs> hey, Norman, how much longer are you going to be? I'm doing my best, mate. But you keep your hat for Blakey, for God's sake. Ah, oh, don't worry about Blakey. He's not due on to the next shift. He won't be here for ages yet. That's what you think, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Butler ain't. He's late again, isn't he? I'll caught him, and I? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Blackie, you're, you're too clever for us. Uh, we can't fool you, mate. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you realise it at last at all. Now, when he comes in, you can get that bus out as soon as you like the pair of you, right? Right. And mind where you're dripping that paint. It's a new uniform I've got on here. <laughs> paint. <laughs> now, what's going on here, uh, eh? It's just a scratch. Scratch? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, no, don't tell me. How did it happen? Ah, uh, well, it's last night, see, this uh, mini-skirted bird ran across the road in front of the bus and Stan had to follow her up the curb and hit the town hall. It wasn't our fault, though. Oh, no, no, no. I suppose uh, your bus was parked there and the town hall took off and ran into you, did it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, Matt. There's a row of bollards in front of the town hall. Uh, yeah, there was. <laughs> you run over one in bollards, mate, and rip the sump out of the bus. Sump's a complete ride-off, I'm afraid, Jeff. So I'll fit in another one. Right, off. Oh, oh, good. Oh, I'll have him for this. <laughs> oh, good. Tell him to come and report straight to me as soon as he comes in, will you? And, Mike, keep that oily thing away from me, will you? And my way of dripping that pain. Okay. Watch where you're putting that thing. Somebody gave a nasty action of the neck. Listen. I'll have him for this. I He's going to get him right now. I've got a clock. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Blakey. What are you doing with all that paint on him? Get up. I'll have him with his You've not only smashed up a bus, you've ruined a brand new uniform. You must be about the clumsiest driver that's ever been in this depot, do you know that? Oh, come off it, Blakey. Blimey, you wouldn't up when you were a driver yourself. When I was a driver, what are you talking about? That was about 10 or 11 years ago. I had a good record when I was a driver, mate, I'll tell you that. You never known of me bashing a bus up? You never bashed a bus up? Oh, yes, you did, mate. Right? When? I'll tell you when. It was Jack's first day at the depot. You remember Jack? That's right, yeah. Listen, I was your conductor at the time. Oh, what idiot left that thing there? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Cyril, mate! <laughs> Look at this dent you've done here, boy. Yeah. Are you going to tell the manager, manager about it? Not me, mate, no. 
I won't be a driver next week. <laughs> I'll leave it. I'll be an inspector then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, hang about a minute. I'll be the driver next week. I'm taking over your bus. Yeah, well, you reported then, mate. No, <laughs> blimey, that's not fair. No, it ain't, mate. I'll tell you the best bit about it. What? You know you'll have to report it too, don't you? Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be laughing then, won't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll, I'll make you pay for it. You'll oh. be lucky, mate. You'll be lucky, I tell you. <laughs> hey, you know we've got one of them new trainee conductors on with us this afternoon. Oh, you? not another one. Yeah. Look, I'm a conductor, mate, not a blooming nurse, mate. Hello, sir, mate. All ready for takeoff, are we? Oh, blimey, that's a small bus, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stand back, let Jack over. Oh, how do you mate? Mate, you mate? Yeah, what's the situation around here? Plenty of willing birds, are there? Well, there's plenty of birds, I don't know if willing. Oh, well, we'll soon find out. <laughs> Just as soon as I change my digs. Well, they're chucking you out, are they? Oh, no, silly old mate. You see, my landlady won't let me take birds up my room, so I might as well leave. I'm never there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> here, I'll tell you what, I've got a room around our house. Yeah? Haven't yeah. you got rid of that yet? Shut He's up. tried everyone in the depot with that room. Well, what's None wrong with it? Take it? Nothing's wrong with it at all. It just suits you. It's a nice room. Yeah. Eat with the family. It's only me, my mum, and my sister Olive, you know. Five quid a week, all in. Here, give us a push on the old No, it's my turn. Oh, all right. Tell him about to push it. Yeah, 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 Room after I finish, right? Yeah, right. Come on, give us a push. Yeah. Oh, to good. me, to me. Yeah, all right, here we go. Oh, look out. Oh. <laughs> Blake, what the hell do you think you're doing? Is this the sort of behaviour we can expect when you're an inspector? Sorry, sir. It was their fault, really. They did it. You're supposed to set an example to the men, Blake. Not behave like an overgrown baby. <laughs> here, do you want your nappy changing? <laughs> Butler. Butler? Come off the butler bit, Cyril. Never mind about the Cyril. You could have cost me my promotion then, you know that. Yeah. You wait long made up. I'll make your life a blooming misery, I will. Oh, will you? Yeah. Oh, will you? Well, if you do that, mate, I'll tell the manager who bashed that bus up. Oh, yeah? yeah. Hey, Jack. Yeah? You know why he's so keen to get you round into his house, don't you? No, why? They're trying to marry his sister off. <laughs> <laughs> she goes with the room. Yeah, <laughs> not me, mate. I just love them and leave them. Yeah. Take no notice of him, mate. He's, he's just trying to put you off. I won't have to, mate. I can safely leave that to your sister, can't I? <laughs> oh, God, I'm going for a cup of tea. Do you know what? He's got the makings of a first class creep. <laughs> and I didn't know how right I was. Never mind about that. Come and help me get some of these off before it dies off. Well, oh. Oh, good. Cool. Oh. What's up? Oh, he's soaking through me trousers now. <laughs> oh, that's all right, mate. Now you'll have cream underpants to go with your cream uniform. <laughs> Twink. Come on, do something. I can't walk about the blooming depot like this, can I? Well, we can't clean it up with the clothes on. Take them off. Come on. Oh, right. Oh, Here. Keep that finish away from me. You know it upsets my stomach. Oh, oh I'm making acid now. Oh, oh you and your sure. blooming stomach. I don't know why you don't take it to the doctors. No, don't talk to me about it. doctors. They're blooming useless, mate. Hey, Jack, do you remember when old Arthur tried to kid us? He was a doctor. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and he was only hospital porter all the time. <laughs> hey, that was the same day, wasn't it? I mean, you came round our house to look at the room. Do you remember? This way? Well, uh, here we are, Jack, mate. The, this is our front room. You'll have to take us as you find us, I'm afraid. That's oh, all right, mate. I'm pretty scrappy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you broke off my own heart. <laughs> well, go on, love. Sit down. Get yourself dinner. a towel. Oh, thanks very much, Mark. Uh, you're not married, are you? Uh, oh, no, Ma. I'm just naturally round-shouldered. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you can have the room, love. Oh, thanks, Ma. Yeah. Oh, blimey, I wonder who that is. <laughs> you got an ashtray, mate. There's one on, on the shop, really. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Hey, what's that funny burning smell? Ah, eh? uh, that must be Olive cooking the dinner. <laughs> I can't help that, madam. I told you this morning that I'd be back later. I've decided I'll have the room. Hey, Who's this? He came this morning. He saw the card in the shop window. Uh, ju just one moment. Uh, these people are busmen, aren't they? That's right, mate. We're busmen. And what's wrong with busmen? Well, nothing in their right place, I suppose. But the card did state that the room was for business and professional people. And as I happen to be in the medical profession, I, uh, I, of course, will be taking the room. Your son here said I could have the room. Am I to understand this person here is your son? Oh, yes, that's my son, Stanley. Oh. 
Oh, well, as they say, the room will serve the needs of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'll let me know when the evening meal is ready yes. and uh, perhaps you'll take my bag up. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> what on earth is that? That happens to be your evening meal, mate, so you better get stuck in. Oh, Mum, I've ruined it again. I'm never going to learn how to cook. Oh, don't despair, love. It is a bit better than last time. Yeah, last time she burnt the kitchen and all. <laughs> oh, Mum, there's men in the room. Hey. Oh, 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 stop! Oh, oh, you stupid! Oh, God, you stupid! Oh, God! Uh, uh, these are nice men. They won't eat you. They won't eat a grub either. <laughs> now, uh, Jack, you come and sit here. Oh, thank you so much. Now man. then, uh, this is my little Olive. <laughs> They're both single men, dear. Oh. Uh, this is Mr. Arthur Rudge. He's going to be a doctor. Oh. How to do? I, I'm ever so interested in medicine myself. Oh, you ought to be. You're drunk enough of it. <laughs> and and this is Jack. He's going to work with Stanley. How did it? Oh, I, I do like your uniform. Mm. Uh, are you on the buses as well? Yeah, no, love, actually, I'm in the Royal Air Force. <laughs> oh, and you've got those lovely big teeth that stick right out. <laughs> we had a piano like that, Mum. Do you remember an upright grand? <laughs> Which of you's going to take the room? Hey, him. him. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 I, I do insist, after all, you you were the first to be asked. Ah, oh, yeah, but you got here No, first. no, but I, I have, no, I no, have, no, I have no, no. Let me show you to the room, love. I must be polite. I mustn't give you the wrong impression. Oh. Oh, well, <clears throat> it won't be for very long. I, um, I have to go into hospital shortly and have an operation. <coughs> what sort of an operation? A surgical. Where? A St Mary's. <laughs> you don't mean that sort of where. Do you mean where about on you are you having it? <laughs> I don't really think I want to discuss that. It's rather personal. Yeah, well, in that case, I'll just slip away then. Oh, empty. Is it big or small? Is it... <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's quite small. Oh, Mummy's not got a man's complaint, has he? Oh, of course not, dear. Now, take the gentleman upstairs and help him to unpack. Oh, yes, all right. Come on. Oh, th th thank you. <clears throat> Sleep well. My case. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't like him for a start. Well, I'm not too keen on him myself. But if he's what Olive wants, he's what she's going to get. What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious. He's mad about her. Oh, I could see that the way he was fighting over her. <laughs> Stan, anyway, he'll have a good living on his hands when he's a doctor. <laughs> Not with Olive, he won't. He'd be too busy doctoring her up. His jacket. How's his trousers doing, Stan? Yeah, I'll finish these. Look at that. These have come up like brand new. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on, you can come out now, Blakey. We've done them. You got me a lot of brass monkey then, isn't it? Yeah. This ain't the first time you ruined a brand new uniform of mine either, is it? Oh, that's a coincidence, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. That was the first time you had that one on and all, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was about a week after Arthur moved in. Do you remember? <laughs> I'll put the trifle down there, love. I don't think it's quite set, Mum. Oh, well, we'll have to pour it out then, won't we? <laughs> well, now then, when they come, Stan and I'll go in the kitchen and have ours and leave you and Arthur in here all by yourselves. But I've only known him a week. How do I know he's Mr Wright? Of course he's Mr Wright. I mean, you're made for each other. Anyway, it'll be nice having a doctor in the house. We might have to queue up in the waiting room. <laughs> but I don't know what to say to him. We'll let him do the talking and then steer the conversation round to weddings, marriages and such like. Yeah, I... Oh, 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 yeah, they're here. Go on, you quick. Take your glasses off. There. Yeah. When you turn the road. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, my beauties. Oh, hello, 
Well, oh, Arthur, dear. <laughs> and Arthur, love, would you like to talk about weddings? Hey. Why, well, is someone getting married? I'd love to. Oh, she's still rushing, dear. <laughs> Tell him, Mum, we, we're wetting Cyril's head, see, cos he's going to be an inspector of yeah, He's going to be a suspector. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bit better than the old diving uniform, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look smart yeah. in that. Look smart in that. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Looks just like a tailor's dummy, yeah. Mind you, he shouldn't be wearing it till tomorrow, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? The candle won't light. <laughs> Put your glasses on, darling. You're trying to light the bottle. <laughs> Hey, 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 stand back, madam, allow me. Where are they? Oh. Under your foot. <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid place to put them. <laughs> there you are, my precious moon <laughs> peep. There we are. There. What's that? Oh, oh Mum, what am I going to do? I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> oh, of course, dear. You don't nearly need to wear glasses, do you? No, she needs <laughs> binoculars. <laughs> Take your friends into the kitchen and let Arthur and Olive have their supper alone. Yeah, I will do that when we've had our own. Sit down, boys. Come to the cookhouse, you old boy. I could eat a blooming horse, Dad. Yeah, me too. Slop it up, Mum. Yeah, me, I'm hungry and all, you know. It's all drinking all that beer that does it. Mum, go and get us something to eat. Make it nice, big helpage. But this was specially for Arthur and Olive. Yeah, I made it myself. Yeah, well, it's funny, you know. I'll go for hungry now. <laughs> no, I had a pie in the pub. <laughs> I can feel my indigestion coming <laughs> on. Does anyone want to have a drink? Now, Olive, you look after Arthur, and I will take the boys into the kitchen. <laughs> oh, come, all right. Come on, Arthur, darling. <laughs> I'm not Arthur Darling, I'm Cyril Darling. <laughs> He's Arthur Darling. <laughs> Where? I can't see him. No, no. no, and I've got news for you. He can't see you either. <laughs> so you're both in luck. <laughs> no, I wouldn't mind a drop of this soup. That's my trifle. I made it myself. Oh, well, that accounts for it, then, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look, let's have a look at it. It's oh, no, look at it. Oh, it's a bit runny, isn't it? Oh, hey, look, look. Hey, watch it, watch it. Go. Hey, 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 watch it. Don't get your new uniform. Oh, come on, I want those slops all over ruining my uniform. Oh, there's no need to be rude about my job, will you? You don't have to eat it if you don't want to. Oh, oh, I'll tell you something, love. We ain't going to eat it. Oh, stand. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll give it to Arthur if I can find him. Oh, my oh, mate. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you something though, I found Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you for this. I'll make your life a blooming misery for this. You see, if I don't look at my brand new uniform, no, I blooming ruined. Oh dear, you listen, you said you wanted a bit of trifle, now you've got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know something, Butler? What? <laughs> I think I'm beginning to hate you. <laughs> oh, don't.
What's going on? What's your game? <laughs> this is my bed, you know. No, it's not, it's mine. This is my bed. Get out of it. Get in your own. Oh, sorry? I thought there was something funny about you. <laughs> you might regret later on. He's at his pleasure. What? <laughs> How are you going to pay for it? Now we'll have to marry Olive. You what? What, and have him as a brother-in-law? Oh, Arthur, so yes, it would make me ever so happy. <laughs> as it turned out, no one was happy. That'll do you. Oh, thanks very much, Norman. Yeah, well, anyway, Stan, your mum got your sister married. Yeah, but far from losing her daughter, she gained her son-in-law, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but not for much longer, mate. Uh, last night was the limit, and when I got up this morning, I told them straight. I said, look here, I said, you've got to go. Stanley, Stanley. Oh, yeah? What do you want, then? We have both been thinking over what you said this morning, and we have come to the conclusion that you were quite right. Eh? Oh, well... I hope I didn't upset you too much. I mean, after all, we have had our happy times as well, haven't we, mate? Yes. Well, nonetheless, we have both decided that you ought to go. Yeah, well, we've all had our ups and downs. I mean, every family has... Eh? Fond of you, as we are, Stanley. We have decided that you have been the cause of most of our little tiffs. Eh? Come along, sunshine. We go and buy ourselves an anniversary present. I need a new cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's made my day, that is. Hey, he can't chuck me out my own house. He looks like he's done it, doesn't he, eh? And I could chuck you out this step over what you've done here today with my uniform and that bus. Now, get it out. Come on, you're late. I don't know which was the worst day in my life, the day I met Arthur or the day I met you. Get the bus out, then. <laughs> 